like, comment, share, and subscribe. Pause the video right now to check out my social media, my radio show, and that drummerguy.com. And most of all, enjoy the following presentation. Hello? Hey, how's it going? Hey, what's up, buddy? How are you? I'm doing great. Uh, long time no talk. I know, man. How you been? I've been good. Um, And uh, likewise, I see that you've been uh, doing really good since last time that we were able to talk. Yeah, I've been, been super busy, man. No complaints. <laughs> well, awesome. Well, uh, thank you very much for uh, taking the time to be able to do this interview. Uh, I, I know that uh, this band in particular has gone through uh, quite a bit of changes. And, uh, of course, uh, you've been a part of some amazing projects in the last couple of years. But it's uh, great to be able to talk about uh, the new chapter in your life right now. Absolutely, man. Yeah, I'm really excited. I feel like we... Uh... We definitely took a, a little break for a little bit, and everybody kind of went off and uh, and did their own thing. But it, it feels really nice to be back and doing and doing Batnet stuff again. Everybody's really excited, and everybody feels really inspired to be back and and playing together again. Now, uh, of course, I alluded to right there when you said uh, Vatnet, uh, the Viscar is no longer there, uh, amongst uh, other changes in the band. How did all of this come together to form the self-titled album? So. <laughs> Before we kind of always we kind of always reference to ourselves as Batnet. Um, Chris had made the band name. Well, Chris and Nick had made the band name Batnet Viscar a while ago, and I, I feel like that that definitely fit what we were going for before. Um, you know, that kind of worked with with our style when we first when we first started. Um, but you know, as we as we went on, we kind of just started referring to ourselves as Batnet just out of convenience. You know. Um, and then when we, we decided to kind of change, change our direction a little bit, it just seemed like it made, like it made sense to drop the, this guard totally and just kind of continue referring to ourselves as Vatnet. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's funny. We, we kind of, we kind of always did it, but we figured it would be, it would, the time would be right to kind of formally change the name just to Vatnet with this, uh, with this new direction. So yeah, and that totally makes sense. And, you know, just like with so many changes that did happen in the band, I, just like you said, it did seem like perfect timing because it does feel like a, a new change in the band. And honestly, I really love the direction that you guys are going in. I mean, even though I, I loved so much of what happened with, with the previous couple albums, I mean, I love the new direction that you guys are going in, you know, just like maintaining the right amount of like the dark evil stuff that was going on in the past, but uh, like forging ahead in a new style that really fits. Thank Thank you. I appreciate that, man. I, I appreciate you uh, you checking it out and listening to it with an open ear. We're all uh, we all feel the same way. We're all really excited about you know about the new music that we made. And not to say that we didn't love the last few records we made. We all still really love those two records, and that was definitely a reflection of where we were at with the time. Um, but you know, we had so many so many changes over the past couple of years that um, you know it just it, it felt more natural to kind of go in this direction. And um, it's funny we're definitely kind of going back to our roots in a sense because a lot of the influence on the new record definitely comes from a lot of the music that we listened to growing up you know a lot of the emo rock kind of not necessarily black metal still aggressive but like a lot of the a lot of the bands that we were really into growing up um so you know this is kind of i feel like it's it's just an accurate representation of of the music that we're really into and the music that we feel inspired to make um but yeah thank you thank you for listening to it man i'm i'm, I'm stoked that you like it oh yeah very much so i mean i've i've always dug uh what you guys have done i mean ever since uh, you joined the band and we were able to talk at maryland death fest which is yep. funny now to think about i mean considering the way the the band is going in a different direction now it's it's cool that we did meet up uh, during a null knockroth do an interview and you know it's just like it's it's cool to see like a couple years later that you guys were able to uh, forge ahead you know really uh, wearing the influences of your guys' stuff uh, growing up, uh, taking the Vatnat Viscar stuff, but just like forging your own sound, and it's such a great album that uh, ever since I've been ever since I picked it up on Friday, I've just been listening to it from start to finish, just like really diving into what's going on in there, and like I said before I mean, there are those moments that do harken back to the earlier material but it's, it's really cool to see that you guys are going in this new style and uh, really showcasing what you guys are capable of Hell yeah. Well, thank you, man. Again, I really appreciate that. Oh, yeah, not a problem. So with this, I mean, with all these changes and everything, I mean, uh, how long did it take until you guys knew what direction that you guys wanted to be going in? 
Well, we didn't, it's not like a thing where we really sat down and planned out the sound of the record. Um, so when we first started working on it, Nick left the band shortly after the last tour that Vatnet Viscar did. Um, and when he left the band, we kind of had the decision of whether we were going to continue playing together or we were just going to stop the band altogether, which is definitely something that, that you, we thought about, all three of us kind of thought about on our own. And then when we decided that we wanted to continue moving forward, we kind of just met up to start jamming out ideas together and just get a get a feel of of what we were going to do, you know? And the first time we got together and just started playing, um, kind of what you hear on the record is just what came out, you know? It really wasn't a planned a planned thing to kind of go in this direction. That's kind of just what we ended up playing the first time we got in a room together. So it all came together pretty organically. Um, like I said before, it's just kind of a natural progression of, of what our band is and the music that we, the three of us enjoy making. Um, so yeah, I mean, as far as the influences of it and, and what really inspired us to, to make this record, it was really natural. It was really just a I feel like it was kind of just an example of where the three of us were at and what felt satisfying for us to play at the time. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I think that's the only way to really make music because when you feel like you're you're forced to have to write in a style and you get pigeonholed in a certain way that it takes a lot of creativity and freedom away from the band and the music starts to feel forced. So when I totally agree with that. Absolutely, man. I feel like it has to come from from a natural place and it has to come from an organic place for it to for it to really be something that you're proud of, you know? I feel like if we got if we got in a room and we really and we sat down and decided, "Okay, we're going to go in this direction." The record probably Probably wouldn't have turned out the way that it did and it wouldn't have turned out the way that where you know the three of us are collectively satisfied with um so yeah like i said it was just really a natural transition and, and, a, and a, a natural progression for for the three of us as people yeah and again you know it's just it's it's so great to see that too because you know it's if you guys would have continued on uh, in in the same way and like we're uh, writing with more of the black metal influences and you guys your guys' hearts weren't behind it then it wouldn't have felt as authentic so when you guys do make an authentic record like the self-titled album I mean it's it's really great to see from the lyrical aspect the mu the musical aspect I mean you're definitely showing off everything that you're capable of on this album I mean there's of course there's a little bit of blast beats in there but you're showing off so much more of what you're capable of that people outside of the vet and Viscar audience may not have been aware that you're capable of yeah for sure and we didn't we didn't want to totally write off that that part of our of our career i guess just because that is you know the first two records that is music that that we really do like and we and we uh and uh, like i said before it was kind of like a, a representation of where our band was at the time so we didn't want to totally kind of ditch that that whole thing that we were doing because that's still music that that we really do like and, and we listen to um, so yeah, I, I don't think it was a, it was a conscious decision to kind of, to leave some of that, that influence in our style. Like I said, it was kind of just like, you know, we all really do, we still like that style of music. And I think it, it just naturally carried over to this, uh, to this new, uh, new creation or this new, um, this new version of the band, you know? And, and so with that, I mean, I imagine that you guys are, uh, uh, playing shows and, uh, everything that's going on in support of the new album. Uh, are the previous albums getting recognized as well, or are you just focusing on self-titled? Um, it's funny. We we talked about playing some of the older stuff live. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I think the big the, the problem with that is just with Casey being on vocals now, he wasn't totally sure if he could pull off some of the vocals that Nick did on the previous two records. Um, so we've we've thought about playing playing some of the older stuff live but at least for this last tour that we did we felt it, it would be best if we just really focused on the new record that we put out and just playing as much of the new record as we could um you know that's not to say that maybe down the line we might not bring back something from the first two records um but just for now i think we're happy with just focusing on on this new record that we just did and playing those songs live it's funny after the tour we even talked about maybe getting together and and working on on some new stuff just because it took you know we were working on the on the record that we just did for over a year um so at this point i feel like we're all we're all pretty um you know we we, we kind of all want to get together and, and see what we can what we can come up with next yeah and i'm definitely excited about that too i mean if this is what you guys are capable of you know just like uh 
having this longer break, you know, with so many changes in the band and then coming up with something that just sounds this complete and just a great representation of what you guys are doing. Now that uh, things are more comfortable with writing in this style, I can't wait to see what you guys do next. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, man. We're, we're all really excited to see what what comes out next once we're all in a room together and, and get the ideas going. Um, yeah, so we're, we're all feeling really inspired and really excited to, to see what we can come up with next. Yeah, and, you know, like, uh, even down the road, I mean, once uh, you guys get some more material down the road, um, I'm not sure if this was ever talked about in the band yet, but I think it might be cool to, like, uh, go back into the last couple albums and maybe do, like, some uh, revisions of those songs and, you know, like, in the newer style, you know, like, take some of the favorite songs from back then, but uh, do it in the new style that you guys are doing yeah i totally agree that would that would be super cool if, if we could if we could pull something like that off um you know it, it's just difficult just because with changing singers it, it the songs lose a lot of what was of nick which he was a super important part of those two records you know his voice and his lyrics um so it was definitely like i said it was definitely something that we thought about doing but we're kind of just gonna see if if you know if if we can do that sometime down the lo down the road we're not ruling it out um so it's definitely something that's come up in conversation definitely not ruling it out so we'll see oh very cool so yeah i mean of course when you guys do go through a uh, guy uh, gigantic change like you guys have i mean uh the the fan base is obviously going to have an opinion on this so uh, what has been the reception from uh, others than myself when it comes to what's going on with the band right now it's been great. The reception to the new record has been awesome. People have been listening to it with an open ear, which is really all we can ask for. Um, you know, go, going into releasing this new material, we kind of we knew that there would be a, a good amount of people that that weren't about it. Um, but that's fine. You know, if, if they if they don't want to continue with the band or keep paying attention to the band, that's fine. They still have the, the last two records um, to go back and listen to. So it's you know, we don't get. I don't think we let it weigh too much in our opinion of the record. Like I said, we kind of knew that there would be people that, that weren't about the... Um, but the response overall has been great, and people have been really supportive, and people have been supportive in us just kind of doing what we want, which is really all I can ask for. Um, I guess as an artist, is really all, all you can ask for is just people respecting your, your right to kind of make the art that satisfies you. Um, but the response has been great. Like I said, people have been people have been awesome, and the record's only been out for a week, but so far, response has been really solid. And that makes me so happy to hear that too. I mean, that that is what is really hard to be able to do is uh, making the music that you want to make. And if you feel like there ever needs to be a change in the band, uh, seeing if the fan base is going to be going along with that. I mean, unless you already had that experimentation going on, but when you do something like you guys have done, I mean, of course, there's going to be some some backlash from like the true evil black metal fans are going on but those that really have an open ear they're definitely gonna appreciate what you guys are doing this time around i mean even though that it's it's going more in this direction i mean it's the same quality of songwriting it's the same um, amazing musicianship and songwriting and everything else that goes into the band it's just you know it's not focused so much on screaming and blast beats right right absolutely and like i said the only thing that we can ask for is that people people listen to it with an open ear um, and obviously there are people who, who just don't like this style of music and that's totally fine. I feel like that's a lot of the, you know, I shouldn't say a lot, but definitely some of the fan base from before were just like this, the straightforward black metal audience. Um, and that's fine if they, you know, if they, if this style isn't really appealing to them, that's totally cool. And we, and we respect anybody's, anybody's decision um, you know, or anybody's opinion. So I guess, like I said, the only thing we can really ask is that the, the people that, that do listen to the record listen to it with an open ear. Um, and we respect anybody's opinion, whether they like it or whether they don't like it. You know, all we can ask for is that people give it a give it an honest chance. Yeah, and I, I think it's really stupid to write something off just because of change before you hear something. I mean, it's really hard to have an opinion on something if you've never experienced that thing. I mean, like, uh, if especially online people love doing that where it's like they just see a band name and they immediately love it or hate it without even hearing the material involved so i mean especially when it comes to something like this you know with such a, a grand scale of a change you know it's just like when you go in with a mind and if you don't enjoy what you're hearing that's fine but you're really doing yourself a disservice if it's something that you could enjoy but you refuse to listen to it right right absolutely i guess you just don't know until you give it a chance you know I, to speak for myself 
myself, there are definitely uh, a lot of things that I don't think I'll like right off the bat just because of maybe the name or the or the type of music that it's, that it's associated with. But sometimes if you can just give something a, an honest listen or go into it without having any preconceived notions of what it's going to be like, uh, it can turn out to be music that you that you really like and that you really grow to care about. Um, so yeah, I mean, I guess I totally agree with you. I think that that's, that's a super important part of being a fan of a band is just kind of respecting their uh, their artistic right to to do to do what makes them happy and to make art that makes them uh, satisfied, you know. Yeah, very much so. And that's what I've always admired so much about you as a musician and as a drummer is that, uh, well, obviously, besides having the amount of skill that you have, is that you do actually go out and venture into all these different territories when it comes into bands you're either filling in for or you're a full-fledged member of and just like really showing off everything that you're capable of. Yeah, thank you, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, I guess just at the end of the day, I really just enjoy playing and you know if, if there's work out there i'll take it if people come to me and ask me to to, to fill in or, or be in their band um i guess it's the same way as going and, and listening to music i try to go into it with an open mind and if it's if it's something i'm happy with doing i'll i'll, I'll definitely give it a shot uh but yeah thank you thank you for the compliment man. i appreciate that Oh, not a problem. And yeah, that that was the great thing about uh, w- when I saw the news that you were uh, going to be filling in for Astronaut Live because I couldn't think of a better drummer who would fit in with a band like that <laughs> than you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's def- it's definitely similar. There's a lot of similarities between uh, between Vatnet and Astronoid. Um, besides just sharing members, you know, obviously Casey is in that band too. So when it when it popped up that they needed someone to to tour with them, uh, I was happy to do it. I was very uh, appreciative that they that they asked me to step in, um, and it's been great. It's been awesome. We've done I think two or three tours since I started playing with them and, and everything has just been really fun. Yeah, and that, that also goes to show that you can play blast beats and not have to worry about being as dark and evil as possible because Astronaut <laughs> is just so filled with positivity and I love that. Yeah, it's it's happy space metal, I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a great way to show it off, and you know, it's like if you, you, if you are able to continue on with Asteroid, and then you got uh, Vatnets, and like all these other endeavors that you're a part of, I mean, you just get to run the gamut of everything that you're capable of, and I can imagine that there's no lack of creativity and inspiration when you are able to have all these different outlets. Yeah, and it's definitely another good thing about it is it definitely just keeps it keeps your drop your chops up as a as a player and as a performer just being able to be in all these different musical situations. Um, it makes you think about playing differently. It makes you think about uh, you know if if I were to go and play in a in a metalcore band or a pop punk band, it makes it makes me play differently when I come back to playing with Batnet. Um, so it's just kind of pulling from all different areas and all different uh, styles of of music and of drumming. So I guess at the end of the day, it's great because it, 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 it makes you a better player, I feel like, to kind of go outside of your comfort zone and try try all these new different different things, you know? And, and with that, so I, was, I was just thinking about this now. I mean, had, had that ever happened where uh, like uh, any of the projects you've been a part of, like uh, Vanna or uh, any of the other uh, metalcore or pop punk bands where they did, they found out that you were like touring with bands like 1349 and wanted to like check out what you were doing with that and Viscar at the time? Yeah, there's definitely been a lot of interesting crossover between all the different bands that I've been playing with. Um, I, there's definitely a lot of crossover between Vanna and that and Viscar and moving forward forward vanna and Vatnet, um just because I'll, I'll be on tour and see a lot of the same people regardless of what band i'm out playing with um and then they'll they'll say hey i checked out your other band and i'm actually really into it and it's it's always super awesome and kind of surprising sometimes when when my friends who will usually come out to a pop punk show or a metal show or whatever will be like hey i checked out that Vatnet viscar record and and i'm really into it um that's always really surprising and really awesome to hear um, so there definitely is a lot of crossover between all the different projects, um, which, which is really rad. Yeah, and, you know, just like uh, being a fan of all the stuff you've been doing, I mean, ever since I discovered, well, I mean, ever since we first met at Maryland Death Fest, I was like uh, going back and checking out 
uh, the bands that you've been a part of and keeping up to date with all that stuff. And, you know, it's just, it's, it's so cool that you are able to transition from one band to the next and it's not feeling forced. I mean, just, it, it feels so natural whether you're playing consistent blast beats, whether you're playing a pop punk beat. I mean, it doesn't really matter because you have so much control over it and it feels so cool. And it here, it, it sounds so cool when you are able to pull all of that off. Hell yeah. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, it's like I said, I just, I, I really like a whole bunch of different music. So I'm just super appreciative that, that I have, that we know people in all these different musical worlds and that even more that, that they, they asked me to, to be a part of their band or to fill in for their band. So I'm super appreciative of that. Uh, but yeah, man, thank you. I, I really appreciate that. Oh, for sure. So, um, of course, with, uh, all the changes in the band, um, there's bound to be like, uh, some, uh, instrument changes as well. I mean, did you change your setup at all when it came to going forward with Vatnet? Um, not really. I guess the only major, the only major change, I guess it's not really a major change is I switched up the symbols for the recording and for the live shows. I switched from... Um, K lights, which what I was using before to a customs, just because I feel like the a customs cut through really clearly. Um, and there's, there's so much going on with that net now, like there's a lot of different parts and there's a lot of heavy guitar, loud guitar. So I really needed symbols that kind of, that cut through the mix, especially in a live setting. Um, so that was the, the only recent change or change that I, that I, that I really went out and, and, and thought about, uh, was the symbols switching from the K's to the, uh, to the A customs. Um, but otherwise, as far as my drum kit, I'm still playing the same drums that, that I was before with the same setup. So it's, I, I'm super comfortable with that setup. So I don't, I don't really mess around with it a whole, a whole bunch. Um, but as far as symbols, I think we talked about this last time. I'm always going through different, different symbol setups and different sizes. Um, just cause yeah, I mean, I, I break symbols all the time, but even more than that, I just, I love symbols and I love getting different sounds and different tones out of them. So I'm always, I'm always changing those up. Yeah. And I, I was curious about that too, because, uh, yeah, we did, we did talk about that last time where it's like, um, I know you you was in an, uh, uh, much bigger symbols at the time. And I did notice that, uh, everything did sound a little brighter with this album when it came to the cymbal sound. So like uh, knowing that the R8 customs for that reason to have them cut through and have them uh, stand out more. I mean, that's really cool to see. Yeah. 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 Those, I, I love those symbols, man. I, I like the K's are a lot darker sounding. Uh, and I had a, a 22 inch K ride, which was awesome. But yeah, just for, just for the Vatna stuff, it seemed like it would, it would be a lot, it would be a lot more sitting uh, a lot more fitting if i could if i could get a sound that really cut through all the guitar craziness that's going on in our recording and it just kind of made sense to transition that live too yeah and i've always been a fan of the setups that you've had and you know it's just like i i love the drums that you have i mean it's just it's such a great sound that comes out of them so when you do match the right cymbals that go along with it it's just it's so cool yeah yeah totally yeah uh, so what's next for you um so we have coming up we have three vanna shows in california which are actually our last california shows because we're on our, our final vanna tour ever so we have three shows in california and then right after that asteroid is going out with animals as leaders in perif and periphery so that's going to be i think three weeks out in the west coast um and then after that we have our final vanna show ever at the palladium in worcester november or december 15th um and that brings us right up to the end of the year um so that's that's the rest my two months that's what it's looking like as far as the new year goes we don't have a whole lot uh, going on right now. Um, but I think the plan is to get back out with that net early 2018. Um, once everybody's schedules kind of free up a little bit, just because me and Casey are kind of tied up doing the, the Vanna and the astronaut stuff. So 2018, it, it, it looks like we're going to try to get on the road with that net a bunch. Oh, very cool. Yeah. And it's, you know, it's just, it's, it's so cool to see like, again, you know, just like all the different stuff you've been a part of. And, you know, it, it is sad to see like a one band uh, coming to an end with, with Vanna, but you know, it's just like, it's, it's great to see the, the last run that you guys have had. And with these last few shows, I mean, it's going to be like a very memorable time being able to see those fans coming out and hearing those songs for the last time. 
Yeah, we're all very excited. It's it's so weird. We have a bunch of people that are hitting uh, hitting us up really from all over the world, saying that they're they're coming to Massachusetts for for the last show. Um, so it's going to be a really special, really special night for sure. We're all super excited um, and a little nervous just because it's it's going to be our last mixed emotions surrounding that. So everybody's just really excited to to have one more one more final show in our in our home state um but yeah all the final shows have been great we did a couple weekends throughout the summer we did a east coast weekend midwest and now we're doing our west coast weekend coming up next month um so it's it's just been great man the last shows have been really fun and really special for everyone to see everybody coming together for the last time oh very much so and you know it's Again, you know, it's just it's such a great send off. I mean, being able to play the the home state for the final show and being able to get these uh, last few runs in and being able to play those songs and knowing that you guys have had this lasting impact. I mean, when you have people from all over the world coming in for these final shows, I mean, that really shows that you guys have done something right. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We're we're so appreciative that everybody is is uh, you know, we we've, we've had a a 12-year career. Before I was in the band, they've been they've been going for a while before I was in the band. So it, it's really cool for me to step in and see and see the impact that those guys have made on on so many people and just being a part of the of the final tour and kind of the the final things we're doing as a band has is, is been super great. And um, I'm so appreciative that they that they asked me to be a part of it. Um, so, yeah, we're all like I said, we're all so excited to, to kind of have this last this last show in our in our hometown or our home state. So. And, and with that, I mean, uh, of course, uh, uh doing the live work with uh, Astronoid. I mean, that's that's really cool to see that you, you're still continuing on uh, working with Casey and being able to, uh, you know, like uh, have more of the poppier elements that uh, that Vanna had, but also some of the darker elements that uh, Vanna Viscar used to have and just combine that into a really cool style. And how did that all come about where, like, um, well, I mean, obviously with uh, Casey being in Asteroid, uh, he asked you to fill in. But uh, what did you think of the music before you joined in? I loved it. Um, when their record came out, I listened to it a bunch, and I uh, I was a big fan of it. Um, I was a big fan of of them before because they did they did a record two or three years before their last one came out, and we played a handful of shows with them in Vatnet. And obviously, Casey Casey has always been you know even before he was in he was in Vatnet, uh, he was a, a really good friend of ours. So I I loved it, man. Um, so when they asked me to to fill in and start playing, I was really excited. Just based off of being being a fan of the music already um so it, it was a pretty a pretty easy transition going from from vatnet right to right to asteroid because me and casey kind of already had the musical history together and we're already familiar with touring and spending a month together in a van so it it was a pretty easy transition jumping in with them and getting right on the road yeah and you definitely were able to join in at the right time i mean with uh, the band just exploding that the way that they have and like all these great uh, live opportunities that have been coming up i mean it's so great to see that you know just like uh, the touring lifestyle is something that you are able to keep up with uh, no matter what the style is and just being able to uh, play and just be so happy while doing all of it yeah, yeah, it's it's something that all of us, you know, that all of us really, really love doing. Um, we all just have a great time hanging out with each other. So it's like when we get to spend three weeks together, it's great. Like just on a friend level, getting getting to hang out for three weeks is awesome. You know, never mind the fact that we get to go and, and play every night and uh, and have a good time doing that. So it's, you know, we're all just super happy being on the road and, and getting to play every night. So oh, yeah, that, that's so awesome to see. I mean, you know, again, you know, just like uh, from being a fan of uh, the then Vatnat Viscar and uh, being able to talk to you for the first time back at Maryland Death Fest to seeing everything that's going on now with Vatnet and, you know, these final shows with, with Vanna, the uh, the rising of Astronoid and uh, all these other projects and endeavors that you've been a part of. I mean, it's been awesome to be able to talk to you about everything that you got going on right now. And I got to say it again. I just I really love the self-titled album from Vatnet, which, of course, is available now through New Damage Records and 
and I really think that this was a great direction for you to guy for you guys to go into. I mean, it feels so real, so authentic, and it's just an album that I want to keep going back to. And it's just it's so uh, refreshing to see that you guys do want to go out and make the music that you want to make, rather than feeling that you had to be pigeonholed or anything. And I can't wait to see what you guys are capable of next. Thank you, man. I really appreciate that. It was it was great chatting again. Um, I think you you said it. There's so much has changed since the since the last time we talked. I think what two or three years ago at this point so i appreciate you checking back in and and uh keeping up with everything that we're doing just because it is like you said it is a lot there's been a lot going on so um i appreciate you listening to the new record and and i really appreciate your support man 